how to create dashboards in Salesforce. After you log in, navigate to the Dashboards tab, click on New Dashboards, give your dashboard a name. I'm going to say Sales and Marketing Dashboard. Choose which folder you want to save it in. For now, I'm going to keep everything as is. I can choose to write a description if I need to. For now, I'm going to leave that and I'm just going to say create. Once your dashboard is ready, you can now start adding components to your dashboard. So each component in a dashboard is generated through a report. So if you click add component, you get a list of reports that already exist in your Salesforce. You can choose any report. I'm going to choose this first one. I'm going to hit select. And I can visualize that report. So I have a list of different charts that I can use. So I have this one. I have a vertical bar chart. I have a donut chart. Or I can even use a funnel if I want to. For now, let's say if we simply use the horizontal bar chart, we can see the, that we have a bunch of leads with different stages. So the Y axis is the lead status and the X axis is the sum of annual revenue. So we can change the X axis to any other number or currency field in our report. So I'm going to change it to record count because I want to see the number of leads per status. So I can see I have five leads that are in this status. I have 12 in this, four in this, and four in this. So we can choose any chart that we'd like and we can choose our display unit. So if we want short numbers, full numbers, hundred thousands, or trillions, billions, whatever we want to show. Right now, obviously with a small data set, it doesn't matter. So we're going to keep it as is. Show values. If we uncheck this box, the values will disappear and we'll have to hover onto it to see the value. By checking this box, the values show up. And do we want any decimal places? That's up to us. Do we want to sort? Visualization, again, we can choose to do that or choose not to do that. And how many groups should be displayed at max? By default, it's 100 and that's more than enough. Y axis can accommodate all, around 100 groups. Title of this component should be all leads. And we can add a subtitle by saying by status. The subtitle goes right below uh, our title. The footer shows up at the bottom. So we can write a footer saying this shows us all our leads by status. And then we can choose either a dark theme or a light theme. I'm going to keep it light. Right here, you can see by status, this is our subtitle. All leads is our title. And our footer says, this shows us all leads by status. And we can add this. And this is our first component. We can resize it based on however we'd like. And remember, in one dashboard, we can add up to 20 components. So we can add another component from the same report. Or we can add components from different reports that exist in our Salesforce. That's up to us. And then we can hit save and we can hit done. That's how we create a dashboard in Salesforce.